We're back now live with our breaking news coverage of, on the streets of uh, Baltimore, Maryland now, where a curfew uh, has been in effect for uh, just 10 minutes shy of an hour. Uh, you can see a number of police officers on the street there in tactical gear this evening. It's hard to judge the number of people who are still out there and defying this curfew. My colleagues Chris Cuomo, Jason Carroll, live on the streets for us now in a city that is under curfew this evening. First to Jason Carroll. Jason, it, it's, it's hard to get a number of really how many people are still out there? What's going on? It, it, it is hard to judge. I can tell you that most of those who are here in this section have, have uh, left uh, more officers here than, than anything, continuing to fire uh, projectiles at those who, those who are still trying to defy their orders to leave. I just want to show you one of the things that they use here. This is it. This is what they've been firing. This is called a, a rubber baton. Can you imagine getting hit with this? It would hurt. And those, this is what they were firing at some of those uh, who were out here refusing to leave, refusing to uh, honor the curfew. It, you know, it was definitely tense out here for a few minutes. Uh, it seems more calm. I, I know it, it, it looks bad as we're standing out here and things like this are happening. We do try to take shelter behind cars as, as people are moving through here. So, um, but I just do want to get a sense give you more of a sense of what these officers are doing now. They're continuing to hold their formation, continuing to hold their line, to move step by step uh, when they're given the order. There are still some people who are down these side streets who are causing trouble, and so eventually what they may have to do is they may have to break off and then go after some of those people, but for now they are holding the line, holding this intersection that you see right here, Don. Yeah. Uh, Jason, I want you to stand by. Chris, heads up. I want to run this video of uh, moments ago about how they apprehended that protester that was in the crowd right near you. Uh, he's walking right in front of uh, police and then they uh, moved in with the armored vehicle. Uh, let's put that up and then you and I can, can talk about it. Okay, there it is. And then all of a sudden he's gone. You don't see him because they have uh, taken him uh, into custody behind that police line. Uh, Chris, it's well executed. And Chris, this is quite different than uh, what we have seen in some of the other cities where we covered protesters, especially Ferguson. Look, once you get past the idea of the curfew, right, which is inherently uh, something you don't want, right? You want to have freedom. You want to have normal life, but you don't have a normal situation right now there is a curfew in effect and once you accept that the idea as we were saying earlier Don the idea that you're gonna come up to other people and say you need to leave um, doesn't work when you're the one who's supposed to be getting out of the street so that's what that young man did he was telling us the media to get out when if you're credentialed press you don't have to leave because we need people to watch this situation in the interest of the public so as he walked back in front they opened up the line an arresting unit came out grabbed him put him back in another guy then came out and was obviously challenging the authority of the police. He walked around, he said, I want to walk behind you. They said, no, you can't walk. So then he walked back in front of them very slowly and very closely. And then as he got to the middle of the line, it opened up and he was gone as well. Any way you want to measure it, whether you can say, I heard some of your experts saying that they seem to be going very slowly. In this situation, uh, time is your friend. Uh, if you want to see no excessive force or violence and they have been very restrained they're very orderly they're making sure they're closed ranks they are worried about having things thrown at them uh, Jason was saying you know it's not pleasant to have a pepper bullet uh, shot at you and I'm sure that's true it's not pleasant to have rocks and bottles thrown at you either and they've shown great restraint and as they've been moving through they've been doing so slowly and orderly we haven't seen anything else to test that yet Cedric yeah, Chris is right. They've showed a great deal of restraint. And we also have to remember, too, Don, that a lot of these officers on 12-hour shifts, they're out there, they've been working a long time, and uh, some of them are probably fatigued and tired, but they're using a great deal of restraint. And I really have to tip my hat off to them tonight, Baltimore police, because that move you just saw as well, too, where they took that guy under arrest, right. that was very well coordinated and planned. And uh, the way that they executed was well as it was done as well too. So uh, it's a good night tonight, and we just have to make sure. Hopefully, they will make sure that as, as the night progress, anyone that's going to challenging them, such as what we see right now, 
are going to be arrested and yeah. taken into custody. Yeah. Uh, Ed, I, I want to get back to the man, Ed, who, who once ran this department. Uh, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's... It, I guess we can say city. it's not exactly on lockdown, it's just shy of a lockdown. On lockdown in certain areas, because we're under curfew. Uh, but it, it's surprising to see a city this big, a major American city, uh, to have this going on in this day and age, Ed. Oh, I don't disagree. I think this has been, uh, you know, an American disgrace. Uh, it's, a better, it's a source of embarrassment, and it's a frightening time to be down here. I think you're absolutely right. You don't see cities this size with major police departments and, you know, pro sports teams. And it's, a, it's a major American city to be under curfew like this. It's a big, uh, it's a big black eye for the town. It's not a good time for us. I want to ask uh, real quickly, and I'll ask it on the other side of a break, but again, you're, we're getting close to the top of the hour. Uh, for almost an hour, the city has, uh, the curfew has gone into effect for Baltimore, Maryland, and you see uh, the streets, some of the streets in the city blocked off uh, by members of the police department and also the National Guard as well. Um, curfew going into effect at 10 p.m. Eastern. Some people chose to defy it. Most people did not, and now we're watching the effects of it and all of it play out live on television. We'll take a quick break. We're back in moments. Thank you.